is the Pac-12 championship game in Las Vegas between the University of Utah and USC. And many Utes fans left tonight intending to avoid tomorrow's snowfall. Yeah, they want to get to the game. We do have live team coverage for you tonight. Fox 13 Sports Director Jeff Renier is live at Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas with a preview of tomorrow's big game. But we start with Fox 13 News reporter Emily Tenser, who spoke to fans who are hoping for a safe drive. Emily. Bob Kelly, the roads are clear. The average cost of gas is the lowest it's been since February. Everybody is saying today would have been the best day to make that drive to Vegas for the game tomorrow, but some fans are just going to have to deal with Friday's snow to get there. As storm clouds make their way toward the Salt Lake Valley, Utes fan Ed Cable. Yeah, my daughter made these. <laughs> loads up his red rental car. It's red. I don't allow any other color. There we go. Bracing himself for a rough morning on the roads. I'm actually feeling good. Hesitancy about good. Anxious, you know, just a mix of emotions. Ed would have left for Vegas Thursday night, but he wanted to make sure his whole family could be there for the big game. Most of my friends have already left and they're driving down and they've been texting me and teasing me that I haven't left yet. I got a nice steady stream of Ute fans um, in a convoy all the way down. Chase McCorder is relieved to be driving in the dark instead of trying to take on Friday's snowfall. 35 miles away from Beaver. And the roads have been just fine today. There's been no issue at all. He says Thursday's strong winds had no impact on his caravan. We got a great group of guys that I think are gonna that we that they're they're gonna deliver for us. So we just gotta get the fans down there like last year when we outnumbered Oregon, I think five to one. Fans like McCorder and Cable are determined to show up for the team. Cable says the 5 a.m. snowy drive will be worth it. You just have to do it right. I'm just going to take it slow and just make it there before 5. I spoke to the Utah Highway Patrol. They expect to have more troopers out tomorrow morning, mainly in the Salt Lake and Utah counties. They're not expecting too much Pac-12 traffic, but they do have resources on standby if need be. Reporting live in Salt Lake, Emily Tenser, Fox 13 News, Utah.